sports sort of, you know, you've been uh, sort of a tree trunk on this family tree of coaches that have moved on to some some very amazing things in college football across the country. And I, I know you have affinity for each of the individuals that have succeeded you here at UC Davis. What about Coach Gold a little bit that you've seen maybe in yourself, you've seen in, in action here this past couple, yeah. this past year? Um, <clears throat> Ron and I have gotten to know each other a bit. And uh, what I've found to be so impressive is his uh, genuineness, his earnestness, you know, erstwhileness, his honesty, uh, truthfulness, uh, He's got a good heart. I mean, those are the things that, that I look for in a person, and uh, that's what I've seen in Ron. And so I think he's got a lot of good years ahead of him here at the UC Davis program. He fits into our program really well, and he's the fact that he's embraced our tradition and our heritage, and uh, wants to borrow from that and and add to it and create his own atmosphere, and uh, means that he's really a part of the whole university, and. Uh, there's a lot, so many good qualities there. It's really appealing. I would like to say some things about the Miracle Game, since that was a pivotal, that was my second year as head coach. And uh, we had just picked up a motto from the Oakland Raiders at that time, John Madden and crew. They were winning, having a lot of success. And uh, we picked up a motto that said that you always play hard when you're ahead. You never give up when you're behind. So we took this to heart. We put it up on the board. We talked about it. And lo and behold, that year, we came from behind in five different games to win. And one of those games was the miracle game. Uh, and to come from behind, 16 points in the last 20 seconds, I think it was. And I remember looking up the clock. We were on the three-yard line and, and looked at the scoreboard. We were down 29 to 14, and there were 20 seconds left. And we ended up scoring 16 points to win the game. It really set the tone, as Bob's saying. It was a really pivotal moment. And but picking up that little motto from the Raiders was a big, a big help to us, and the camaraderie that it built, and the spirit, and the, we felt we could beat any anybody from then on. Particularly, it changed everything in the conference, in the Far Western Conference. And I had good friends at Cal State Hayward. They were six and zero at the time. We were six and one. So it was a beautiful Saturday afternoon. They'd already beaten Fresno State and Cal Poly and some other people. And Mike Bellotti was the tight end. Paul Hackett was the freshman coach. Uh, and we had a lot of really good young players. We, we had four freshmen, I think, started on the offense. But, you know, Bob is too modest. He was such a, a, a catalyst in that game. He really created things and made things happen off the seat of his pants. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that, and that's how we won. We, we could turn him loose and let him do things and, and create things. And, and players like Mike Bellotti and, and uh, Tay Thompson and David Roberts and just a whole bunch. And, I always uh, talk about John Miller here because John Miller was a free safety for us. And the one game we lost, we, we, had, we were one fumble away from going undefeated that year. We ended up 9-1, and one, and we were playing Chico. And it was an evening game, and uh, our lights weren't the best. And so John was our punt returner and free safety, and he lost the ball in the lights, the lack of lights, and the ball hit him in the head, bounced over here, Chico recovered, went in and scored, and we ended up losing, I think it was 31-28. So I've always remembered kind of John for that, you know how these moments kill, but John always reminds me that, Coach, remember that I was the guy that recovered the onside kick in the Miracle <laughs> Games. Right. And uh, I said, oh yeah, God, that's right. So now he's back in good graces <laughs> again. And, uh, but the miracle game, we showed it every year for the, for the next 19 years that, that I was head coach. And I would show it to outside groups and business groups. And I still, sh I still have shown it up until, I think, last year, the last 40 years. And everybody you show it to was, is, was marveled at it. They always want to see it, business groups, educational groups. And it's been a big thing for the university and for Aggie Pride and, and for the football program. Coach Cole, I'm kind of curious, how long were you here before you heard about the, the Miracle Game? How long did it take for someone to, to bring that up to you? Oh, they brought that game up to me uh, probably my third day on the job. Someone was talking to me about it. And so it's uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of great, great history here. And I think that's one of the things for me that's, that's special is because it has a great foundation, a tremendous tradition. And, and all I want to do is just continue to carry that. I want to add on, build to what has already been started. And so having a foundation that's solid uh, is going to help me out immensely.